This video is going to be a bit different because it's a rush project because I've got two days to make a dress for the red carpet world premiere of Thor. <laughs> Basically, Disney invited me to walk the red carpet with all like the actors and all the fancy people. Chris Hemsworth is gonna be there, Taika Waititi, Tessa Thompson, like everyone's gonna be there. So obviously I need a really nice dress for this and I've got about two days until the premiere. So we've got two days to make a red carpet dress. To be fair, they actually invited me last week. I just got a bit sick and a bit distracted making a mushroom lamp but we can't change the past. We've only got two days now and we're gonna make it work. So first things first, let's design some dresses. I'm gonna go and look through all the promotional media, watch all the trailers, go and see a bunch of different dress styles and just start sketching. For this first round of sketches, I tend to go with the motto that there is no such thing as a bad idea. Draw as many as I can and then from there we'll narrow it down. I'm really feeling a train, like kind of a short train. I'm also really feeling pants, like big pants. These are the top four designs I've narrowed it down to. I'll put them up for a poll on my Instagram story and whichever one wins is the one I will make. I checked up on the poll and we have a winner. Da -da -da. Okay, so let's make it. It's currently Tuesday at 1.48 p.m. and in exactly 48 hours, I need to be leaving the house to go to the movie premiere. So the clock starts now, 48 hours, we gotta make this dress. We're going on an adventure. So first stop is the fabric store. I'm gonna pick up some muslin and I'm also gonna look for a base pattern. We got our fabrics! Ah! The main fabric I'm gonna be using is this red Armani satin. I totally lucked out with this one. I actually already had about four yards of it. The only bad thing about using a fabric that I already own is I can't buy more of it. And if I mess up, there is no going back. <laughs> And since I've still got two days before the premiere, I'm also ordering a couple of rhinestone appliques off Amazon, since those are a bit harder to find locally, and that way I can make that bejeweled top. Fingers crossed it comes in time. Since I couldn't find the right pattern at the store, I went to my fabric stash and I found three different patterns that work. So I think I'm gonna use this pattern as a base and just modify it. When modifying a pattern, I like to make a mock-up, which is basically a practice version of the dress made out of cheaper material. This way I can use the pattern as a starting off point, see how my mock-up of the pattern looks, and then adjust the pattern to better fit my design before I cut it out of the final fabric. And we got our base, and now we sew it up. This is what our mock-up looks like. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, I know we're short on time, but hear me out. I had a really, really cool idea for a new design. So I love this design, but it's just a little too simple. It doesn't read very Thor. It reads very like formal dress, but just not Thor. So I have this silver fabric and I was thinking, what if instead of doing a red dress, I do like a red bustle like that. And then these shiny bits, I can even still reuse them. But instead of having a big shiny bodice, I can like have them on the hips, like her hip things. It's currently 10 p.m. on Tuesday. I've got till Thursday. I can do this. Y'all, we're doing it. We're making the new design. Take two. We've got 32 hours left and I am scrapping all of the work that I did today making that mock-up and we're making this new design. The problem is I only have a yard of this silver fabric, but it doesn't really matter because I've got enough for my height. I think that looks like a dress. Like a, like a sleek little dress. This might be actually easier than I expected. This second design has two parts, the base dress and the cape. I'm starting by roughly patterning the cape out of muslin just by draping it in a shape that I like. Okay, it's working. So this is what it looks like right now. It's gonna have that really regal front. And then I finally figured out how to get the train the way that I want it. I think it would be really pretty if it has this like big elegant train that kind of flows all the way back there we're kind of past the point of patterns it's just vibes now once i had the basic shape draped in muslin i finally did what i've been procrastinating the entire time i cut the fabric now that i've cut it i can actually start to drape it on the dress form and really start to make some real progress I want to call that a win. It is currently 2.30 in the morning and I think I'm gonna call it a night, but I think I actually have a pretty good start and a very doable amount of stuff for tomorrow. See you in the morning. 
Okay, so it is day two, we have a new design, and I think the first thing I'm gonna do is finish up this cape thing. So last night I draped the skirt, so this time around I'm just going to pin it together and sew it all up. That's looking like a dress! I love how long it is, I love this train. Obviously, I still gotta do a bit of touching up to it, but now that I like the shape, I'm just gonna sew it all together and I can finally get started on the next part. We are now at officially 24 hours before I have to leave for the red carpet. I haven't started the main dress, so that's a little scary. But you know, we've got coffee, we're gonna make it happen. Let's do the best we can. But before I cut my fabric and potentially ruin this dress, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video and where I got my backup dress from, ThreadUp. ThreadUp is basically an online thrift store, and if you've been on this channel for any amount of time, you have probably heard of it or seen it. Most of the clothes that I'm wearing are usually from ThreadUp. Most of the clothes that I've worn in this video, I've gotten from ThreadUp. Not even because I planned it, just because most of my favorite clothes are from ThreadUp. I really like ThreadUp because you can get good quality clothes from good brands for up to like 90% off retail prices. And as a cherry on top, it's a more sustainable way to shop because you're not buying new clothes that's gonna be creating new waste. Instead, you're taking secondhand clothes that would have ended up in landfills and giving them a new life. In fact, my backup dress for this movie premiere is from ThreadUp. So just in case if I don't finish this dress or if something goes wrong, I found this fancy black Marciano cocktail dress on ThreadUp. It typically retails for $208. I only paid about $33 for it. And I love it so much. It's perfect for fancy events. It's comfy, it's cute. I paired it with a little purse and some nice jewelry and it looks real fancy. And if I had to wear it to this premiere, I'd probably just add a red train just to make it a little more Thor. I also got this Ivy Jane long sleeve button down from ThreadUp. It's estimated retail is $107. I paid 19. It's super fun and funky and a little retro, so I paired it with these overalls that I also got from ThreadUp into this fun look that just gives 70s, 80s vibes. Next up, I got this Farrah three-quarter sleeve blouse. It's estimated retail is $60. I paid $7.80 for it. And I styled it with these pink Farrah pants and a little beret to make this very cute pink outfit. I actually wore this outfit on my birthday. <laughs> I think it looks fancy and nice, but still very fun. And lastly, I got these Endless Rose shorts. They retail for around $48. I paid $12.80. And since these have such a fun summery feel, I styled them with this flowy white shirt to create this sunflowery-ish summer look. ThreadUp also gave me a promo code to share. You can use code CRESCENT for an extra 35% off your order and free shipping. So thank you, ThreadUp. You can check all this out in the link in the description. They're really cool. I've obviously used them a bunch and I love them. But thank you, ThreadUp, so much for sponsoring this video, for providing my backup dress. And with all that said, let's get back to sewing this dress. Since I only have a yard of the other fabric, I'm gonna use this as like a practice thing that I can cut up and find what shape for the dress that I like. So this is what it looks like so far. I'm actually gonna take a quick break, go to the airport and pick up my friend who is also coming to the premiere with me and then we will finish this up. We're back and we got a friend. It is currently six o'clock. I've got a couple more hours tonight to finish this dress. And Crunch mode. <laughs> I think we've got this. You got it. I also got a bunch of Amazon packages with all the jeweled appliques that I ordered for the first dress. I didn't really plan to use them for this design, but they look really nice. I think I'm just gonna go and put them up for a couple drapes, see if I like it or if I like without the jewels better. Oh my God, looks perfect. I think this is what we're gonna go with but it's pretty see-through, so I think I'm gonna end up making a thing that matches my skin tone over here just to go under it and provide a little more coverage and support. For this understructure, I'm draping a pattern out of muslin and just roughly following where the applique sits on the dress form. Then I can take my muslin drape, cut it up so it becomes a pattern, and trace that pattern onto my skin tone satin fabric. So this is the fabric that I'm gonna be using that is my skin tone. It is really good skin tone, but it's also kind of flimsy. So I have either a canvas or a crinoline fabric, which is what these in petticoats. We're gonna do the crinoline. So I'm building out the bodice and it's looking pretty good. This is the under layer that's gonna go under to give it a bit of structure. It's currently 8.40 at night, so I'm gonna run to Joanne's to pick up a bit more fabric before it closes. Let's go. We're really hopping in as the last customers of the night. <laughs> We're good to go. <laughs> Now that it's wearable, I can add a zipper and pop on the jeweled applique. To attach it, I just cut off the excess and hand sewed it onto the base that I made. Look at this. 
Don't look at the back. It's gonna be covered by a cape. This looks so fancy. I know this looks precarious at best, but it's like pretty stable and it's gonna be taped down. So I'm pretty excited. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. I've gotta do the cape skirt thing and that's it. So we're pretty close. We're it's going pretty good. For the cape, I'm placing it where I want it to go and then sewing it onto the main dress. Okay, she is nearly done. Let's try her on. <laughs> There's no back. <laughs> like, fully my bum's out, but it's okay. It's gonna be covered by a cape. So this is the look. I feel like a movie star. <laughs> There's still a couple things I need to do in the morning. I need to finish hand sewing down this applique. So I will go to bed, see you in the morning to finish this guy up and get ready for the premiere. All right, it is day three, dawn of the final day. This dress is pretty much done. I'm just gonna spend the morning hand sewing, but it's little finishing touches that are gonna make this more wearable and more complete. Okay, the dress is done. I'm gonna go get ready and then get into the dress and head to the premiere, yeah. So we are on our way, we're running late. I lost my ID, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> We are here in the parking lot. I'm gonna go get changed because I was driving, but we'll be there in like maybe like five minutes. Um, we're right on time, it's awesome. <laughs> this dress is of course still not done, so I'm gonna be safety pinning myself in. All right, we are on our way in. Hemsworth and I'm crying. Okay, so we are back after the premiere. Incredible. It was so good. The <laughs> coolest thing ever. Genuinely one of the coolest events I've ever been to. I, I don't have much footage from it because like so much was going on that I didn't take much. I'm actually really proud of it. It was, it was so good. Right? It looked so great. It Jay. looked really good. It looked really good on the carpet. It looked really nice. Thank you so much, Dizzy, for inviting me. One of the coolest events ever. We were in the theater with all the actors and they were sitting like seats away from us and oh my gosh, like literally the one of the coolest events ever. You saw the dress, we went to the premiere. That's about everything for this video. I forgot to say this in the car, but I wanted to give one last thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. You can use my code Crescent for another 35% off your order and free shipping. So it's a pretty solid deal. Check them out in the description. I'll be back with another project soon, but I need to sleep. So we will catch you later. Bye-bye.